kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hello, my name is Tess, and I am so happy to be here with you at the very end of our day to say goodnight. It is just such a good time to think back on what happened today, on how we felt throughout the day, and just wind down together. Are you ready? Me too. I love knowing all day long that I get to see you and hear about how your day was and how you're feeling. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. So once you have done all of your bedtime things, brushed your teeth, washed your face, said goodnight to everybody that you love, put on your jammies, grab your favorite stuffy, and maybe a favorite blanket to wrap around yourself. Come on over and you can just get right into bed tonight. Pull those covers up nice and tight all the way up to the top underneath your chin. Go ahead and take a big deep breath in. Let it out. Oh, and just sink down deep into your bed. Can you say thank you, bed? Good, because that's what we're doing tonight. If you're with us this morning, we did our thank you thoughts rapid fire game. And we thought of 10 things that we could be thankful for really quickly. And then all day long, you were supposed to find things that you could be thankful for. And even if you weren't with us this morning, you can listen to that one another time. And right now we're going to play that game all over again. So here's how it works. I'm going to say one, and then you are going to say something that you feel really thankful for. And remember, we can be thankful for anything at all can be thankful for our bodies, for different body parts. You can be thankful for food, for family, for friends, for your house, oh, for the weather, really for anything at all, for your feelings, for your dog, for your carpet, for your window. Oh, you get the point. Okay, bedtime edition. I'm going to say one and then you say something that you're thankful for. And we're going to go all the way up to 10 and you're going to think of 10 different things. Are you ready? Here we go. One. Good. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, good work. How good does it feel to say thank you for so many things? Did you know that filling your brain and your heart with thank you thoughts will actually make you feel happier and it will actually help you have a really good sleep tonight? So as you curl down into your nice cozy bed, can you say thank you pillow? Can you say thank you day? One more time, say thank you bed. And put your hands in your heart and say, thank you, heart. And I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for being yourself. There is nobody better that you could ever be than yourself. And I just love that I get to spend a little bit of time with you every single day. Thank you to you for being here with me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Have an amazing sleep with lots of happy dreams. And remember, there is nobody in the whole world with a heart just like yours. I love you. And I love your big heart so much. Good Morning, Good Night is written by me. Tess Levin. To learn more about my work and to explore your big feelings, visit BigHeartJourney.com. And for some fun music, check out Splash and Boots. You can write to me or record a voicemail and send it to listen at akidsco.com. 
I would love so much to hear about your day, and I would really love to hear about the ways that you say goodnight. Our show is edited and produced by Matthew Winner, with help from Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by A Kids Co. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found. And check out other podcasts made for amazing kids just like you by visiting akidsco.com. We know you value what you put in front of your kids, especially when it comes to screens and podcasts. That's why we're excited to share a new podcast from our friends at Sleepiest, creating bedtime stories to help your kids fall asleep fast. Hello, Abby here. If you've got children and find bedtimes a struggle, I'd like to tell you about Coco Sleep, a children's story podcast designed to make bedtime a dream. Coco Sleep turns a chaotic bedtime into cozy bonding time. The stories are delivered in a pace that gently slows. Rumour has it that no one's ever heard an ending. So search Coco Sleep on your favourite podcast app and let's make bedtime a dream. That's K-O-K-O Sleep and I'll see you there.